right, guys, so we have a clean deadlift for today's strength portion. So this is a little different than the regular deadlift, which I'll talk about. Uh, we'll be doing three singles every 90 seconds for five rounds, right? This should be across the board, 80 to 85% effort. So we'll take some time to build up and then we'll do our five sets at a similar weight. Again, 80 to 85, so you can adjust if you need. Um, but here's the difference between a deadlift and a clean deadlift. So a deadlift, the goal is just to pick up the weight, right? Just stand up with it. That's our whole goal of the movement. For a clean deadlift, we wanna train our body to hold the position as though we were about to clean the bar, which means we have to fight for a more vertical torso, okay? Because at the end of the deadlift, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you lock out and stand up, but if we want to do a, a clean, we need to pull it up and then be ready to explode from this position. So that's the major difference. The other one is how you hold the bar. Uh, on a deadlift, we can switch our grip to make it stronger. For a clean deadlift, we have to work on that hook grip position. So nothing, nothing crazy. It's going to be 80, 85 percent. All right, three reps, and I want you to work on that timing of pull. So good hook grip, chest is pulled up and good speed at the finish, all right? And then reset at the bottom. So we're not touching going. Really working hard to keep the chest up as you pull. This is a common error when people do a clean and the bar gets heavy, is that they set up at the bottom and then their hips go first. Okay, and now we're in a bad position to perform the clean. So you're really fighting to keep the chest up. And as you stand, the knees go back out of the way and finish as though you're about to do that clean. That's it. Uh, so five sets of three reps. Let's talk about conditioning. All right, guys, our conditioning is an 11 minute AMRAP, three different movements, 11 dumbbell deadlift, 11 dumbbell thrusters, and 11 burpee box jump overs. Okay. Uh, for the dumbbell weight, this should be moderately challenging, but something you can do unbroken for the majority, at least like, again, the first few rounds. Okay. Uh, definitely when you're warming up, something you're comfortable doing, uh, unbroken set. So the first one, dumbbell deadlift. All right. Um, so dumbbell start touching the ground, nice flat back, stand up all the way. Okay. Some people have to stand a little bit narrower, right? But right under the hips, the dumbbells touch outside the feet, stand up. Okay. After that, that'll probably be the easiest part of the workout. Uh, from there going into 11 dumbbell thrusters. So you got to jump the dumbbells up to that rack position, find your squat stance and 11 thrusters, really focusing on driving up from the legs and squeezing in at the top. When you get tired here, getting that lockout with the dumbbells, the dumbbells want to run away from you because they're uh, loose. So really squeeze in, get that good lockout, rest if you're struggling to get range of motion. Um, 11 reps there. And then what will definitely be the longest part of the workout will be 11 burpee box jump overs. So you start with a burpee on one side, okay, whole body behind the box, chest and thighs touch the floor. You don't have to move your feet together for this, so if you're tired, you might end up stepping up, take a step forward, but you do have to do a two-footed jump on top of the box, and then step to the other side, okay? So you step back, another burpee, two-footed jump, okay? And again, on this, if you struggle with a two-footed jump up, go to a lower box, move back and forth quickly. Only if you have some type of injury, we wanna see a step up onto the box. Okay, so that's it. 11 minute AMRAP guys working through that when you're debating on weight, go on the lighter side so you can move with some speed only 11 minutes. Okay, so we do have a finisher today as well. All right, guys, our finisher today, classic stuff. We got some dumbbell curls and tricep extensions. The dumbbells or the, the curls will be with dumbbells 50 reps. The little caveat for today is that every time you have to rest, you're going to basically take as little rest as possible move down to a lighter set of dumbbells and try to keep moving, all right? So um, I don't care if you do this one arm at a time or two at the same time, but the way this works, you're gonna squeeze, right? All the way down, all the way up. Let's say you get to failure, you can't make it. What you do is put your dumbbells down, move to the next lighter set of dumbbells and just try to keep moving through. Every time that you break, put them down, move to the next lighter set, get through those 50 reps, all right? So get that good pump on the bicep curl. Uh, from there, we're going to go to the banded tricep extension. So for this, remember how high you put the band and the size of the band make a difference. So for me, like let's say on this, I would go down to my knees, right? Elbows are tucked in and then I drive down slow on the way back up. Okay. 50 reps. 
Okay, so that's our finisher for today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.